recommendations are being made by digital specialist Caron Rose to the government towards achieving a cashless society. Rose explains that it is his observation many Trinbagonians have a fear of what a cashless society really entails and as such he wants to quell those fears. There is nowhere in the world that is cashless, right? What a cashless society looks like, it's a, it's a society that has both cash and it has a wide array of digital options so that depending on what your flavor is or what you like to do, you can either pay in cash or you can either have the digital payment options. Referencing Sweden, Karen said 1% of transactions in that country happens via cash, despite the country's major implementation of a cashless society. But for the country to fully commit to this objective, trust and cooperation, among other factors, are needed. The first yeah. step is it has to be an all-hands-on-deck approach. Everybody has something to benefit from these digital platforms. There has to be a massive education drive. So we, 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 we will build that trust. But because a lot of these people are seeing these things for the very first time, they yeah. also don't know who to utilize them. Based on Caron's recent experience as a digital nomad living in Thailand, he shared the following recommendations for cashless platforms. Why aren't we going to China and asking them about, hey, how do we get involved in WeChat Pay and also in Alipay? In the quest to adopt a cashless society, he said the availability of Forex should be looked at and more businesses are going to be squeezed. And if they don't have access to the US dollars, they're either gonna close down or they're gonna only accept US dollars because that's what the currency they need to pay their bills. So that was not really, you know, that wasn't shocking to me. That was more of confirmation. In Trinidad and Tobago, the journey towards a cashless society is gaining momentum thanks to the progressive policy environment and strong mobile and internet infrastructure. We look ahead to the future of this development. I'm Charlene Lewis for TTT News with your Tech Bites.